today we're eating some more crazy Vietnamese food. This dish that we're trying today, I've never seen this in five years of living in Vietnam. I've never heard anybody talk about it. I would have never even thought that you could eat this animal, but apparently you can. And I don't know why I thought that because I've said it myself. In Vietnam, if it moves, you eat it, right? Yeah. <laughs> so we're eating more seafood today. I've got special guests with me, Terry and Bing. So the main dish is coming. We haven't gotten it yet, but we got a appetizer, a second dish that I've never heard of anyone eating before. This is sua, which is jellyfish. All right, so have a look. So literally like clear, looks like jellyfish. Yeah. So have you ever eaten that before? Uh, yes, I have. Is it cooked jellyfish or is it just chopped up and in there or what? I think it's fresh. I think so. I don't know. I never know. But like, it tastes like, it's made. It tastes like, like jelly? Yeah, it tastes like jelly. Well, let's try it. Try a bite. Tell me yeah. how it tastes. So, okay, because Bing is here, so I think Bing will try it. All right, Bing, you start it up. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, no. Salty and jelly taste. Jelly taste. A little spicy, but it's good. Okay, let's try. Please, Jojo. Okay. Spicy. This might be the least no. excited I've ever been to try any Vietnamese food, I think. This is like a jellyfish salad, so it's got a lot of mint, tons of mint leaves, some dried banana it looks like, okay. dried green banana, some sliced mango or sliced papaya, yeah. and then just raw jellyfish it looks like. Should I try it just on its own? Or with yeah, the, if you want, but like normally they would eat with uh, everything. Just Maybe, so, I so. think you need to mix it down. <gasps> just eat it. Mango, banana, and all the down. Ooh, that That's is spicy. strange. That's like the weirdest thing I've ever tasted. It's such a weird texture. It's almost like ah. crunchy, like yeah. crunchy a little bit, but jelly at the same time. Yeah. Uh, I don't like that. I don't enjoy that at all. Yeah. Okay. So the first time that I tried it, I didn't like it at all. Like at all at the beginning. Like it tastes like bubble tea. No, no, not tell you the taste like. Like it's, it feels like the, the texture, like the bubble tea from in the bubble, like the bubble yeah. in the bubble tea. The texture is weird. weird. The, it doesn't really have a flavor. There's no taste to it. It's no just taste. like a crunchy, cold, chewy. I think everything else in the salad is probably good. No, so it's like not mango. Good. So that was just a warm up dish. I just wanted to try that. Really? So we also have. It's, 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 a new Vietnamese beer that I've never seen before. It's called Gold Star. It's a brand new beer from Nghe An province. It says started in 2019, so pretty new beer company. Bing's going back for more, huh? It's good, but it's spicy, but it's good. I like it. Cay lắm đúng không? Đúng rồi, cay. Nhưng mà có mắm ruốc. Ở đây có mắm ruốc nữa. Mình sẽ thử chấm với mắm ruốc xem là mùi vị nó như thế nào nha. Okay. So she will try with another kind of sauce. Sauce is good, but too hot, too spicy. Yo! Yo! Chúc mừng năm Chúc mừng năm mới nha! Yeah, New Year Eve. Hai ba yo! Hai ba yo! Hai ba uống! Alright! If you're liking the video, please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it a lot. I'm super tiny, still trying to grow. So help me out. Cheers. Thank you. Okay, so this is the start of the show. This is what we came here for. This is ca đuối, which is stingray. So this is like half of a stingray. I have no idea. So this is like the outside of it. So do you know one fun fact about Sting, what is the name of it? Stingray. 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 So the fun fact is, they said that it have bones, but it's not actually bones. Like tendons, right? Yeah, it's like you can uh, chew it. You can eat the you can eat tendons. Okay. okay, so stingray. 
I would have never thought to eat a stingray. And so I don't know if it looks more like fish or like meat. Let me just try this. Eat it, take a bite. Yeah. So the meaty part is pretty good. Soft. Soft. Tastes like a like fish, but more firm. Like more like meat than like fish. Almost like chicken. The flavor is really good. Lots of crispy onions on top. Tastes garlicky, a little bit spicy. A lot of like peppery. Yeah, the actual meat of it is really good. Okay. Pretty impressed actually. This is a little spicy too, careful. Pretty good, right? Yep. It's really good. That's a good whole bite right there. That is legit super good. I like that. I like that. I, like I would definitely too. order that again. Yeah. So I like eating it on its own just fine. Where you're supposed to make a little roll out of it with some veggies and the rice paper. Mm. Yeah, that's delicious. What do you guys think of the stingray? Cá khá là mềm. Mềm và có thể ăn luôn cả xương. Pretty soft, and you can even eat the bones of it. Right? If you dip it in the sauce, then it's really good. All the crispy onions on top make it smell good and taste good. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, so you've eaten it in hot pot, but not grilled ever before. This grilled, I'm telling you, this is where it's at. And look at it, there's a good amount of meat on there. And the meat is kind of like stringy, kind of strange looking, but it tastes legit like a good chicken. It's like really good flavoring, really good spice. So you roll it just like, Make a yep. That's right. Roll it up like a doobie. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Mm -hmm. so the meat. It's just like stringy, but really good. Really good, yeah. Um, it's a little bit expensive. Three hundred and fifty thousand for a kilogram. It's about. $15 for a kilogram. This whole plate was about half a kilogram. Mm -hmm. So about half of one stingray was about a half a kilogram. Mm -hmm. So I guess one full stingray would cost about $15. Look at that. It's a whole big bone. And you just eat it, crunch it. Yummy? <laughs> Will they have stingray kadui at most seafood restaurants? Mm -hmm. So maybe a lot of places have it, but I never notice it because I don't know what kadui is. So guys, if you don't like fish, like like the fishy taste and the fishy smell, try this one. It doesn't smell fishy at all. Yeah. yeah. Like chicken or something. Exactly. It doesn't taste like fish. Yeah, doesn't like taste meat. like seafood at all. Mm -hmm. Tastes like a good, like grilled meat, grilled pork or grilled chicken. Okay, so one day you get to try jellyfish and stingray, two animals that I would never think to eat. The jellyfish tastes exactly how I thought it would taste, which is like nothing and kind of like crunchy and chewy at the same time, jelly-ish, weird texture. The stingray is honestly incredible. Like any time that I go eat seafood, I'm going to be looking for stingray on the menu and order some grilled stingray and then the last thing is going to be we still have a giant low thai to eat hot pot thai hot pot which will be delicious today is new year's eve so this is our like big dinner before we start the party new year new things yeah and then we're gonna go to the beach 
and there's some Vietnamese people singing on a big stage and stuff like that, so we'll check that out later. All right, all right, all right. Now we're cooking. Low Thai, Thai hot pot. Looks yummy. We got some fish in there, some shrimp, some squid, some clams. It's a big shrimp. Ooh, look at that. Oops, I can't even get it. That is a big sucker, huh? Look at that. It's yeah. a big shrimp. Big old sucker. What's that? Squid? Squid? It cut in half? Big piece of... Ooh, the fish yeah. is really good. We have pineapple too. So the Thai hot pot, broth, super good. Pineapple-y, spicy, lemongrass. Just Thai broth, super good. Tons of seafood, super big. So in America, hot pot, not really popular at all. In Asia, everybody eat hot pot all the time. You can literally have <laughs> hot pot for anything. Fish, squid, <laughs> frogs. If you're coming from Western country, you haven't had hot pot too much. Thai hot pot, I think, is the best place to start. Ooh. You get a mix of everything. Flavor is really good. Other types of hot pots, sometimes the broth is really sour or different types of flavors, but a Thai hot pot broth, you can't go wrong with. So how's everybody feeling? Pretty full? Yeah. Good meal, lots of food, good warm up for New Year's Eve. So wish everybody Happy New Year's. Chúc mừng năm mới. Chúc mừng năm mới. 2024. 2024. 2024. So, thanks everybody for watching the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Please subscribe. Love y'all. Thanks. Bye.